Is Russia out of control? Is the maniacal maniac going to go for after other countries? That's what this video will be about. So if you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark. And this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, who's safe? Who's not? Uh, who's in his radar? And who does he think he can bully? That's what we'll find out. Okay, so Anna Maria asks, will Russian aggression uh, go to other countries? Will Russian aggression extend to other countries? So that's interesting, and I think a lot of people uh, right in that area there are, are certainly concerned about that. Probably the world should be concerned about that. So uh, will Russian aggression extend to other countries? Will Russian aggression extend to other countries? Will Russian aggression extend to other countries? Okay, before we do too much, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. Will Russian aggression extend to other countries? Will Russian aggression... Cards don't want to work, and I like that. Will Russian aggression extend to other countries? Will Russian aggression extend to other countries. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Will Russian aggression extend to other countries? Let's see. Signifier card. This is the Hermit. Okay, so this is good. Because the uh, Hermit tells us that uh, we really have to look carefully before we move forward. Uh, there's a plan, um, and this person looks almost ready to make that step forward. Will there be aggression to other countries? It, this, this requires careful consideration. The challenge to that with this, um, how many is this? Is this four? One, two, three, four. Uh, this is the Four of Wands. Four of Wands are short-term celebrations. Yeah, these are the ones, these green figures back here. One, two, three, four. So the Four of Wands are short-term celebrations. And so will there be uh, aggression to other countries? Careful consideration, short-term celebrations. On towards something bigger. I, I wonder if there might be. Uh, the basis of this uh, reading, then, is the four, five, six of cups, remembering how things were uh, in the past emotionally, uh, compassionately. And so that's where the base of this whole thing is not forgetting the past, remembering when things were calm and nice and good. In the um, That's the basis. In the past, this reading is the world card, and the world is a definite end of one cycle and the definite beginning of something else. So in the past, we have a definite end and a new beginning. I'm talking about short-term celebrations, which I originally took to mean maybe Russia's celebration towards some kind of uh, land grab again, um, but maybe not necessarily. Let's keep going. In the sky of this reading then, uh, with this two of wands, short-term plans. Short-term plans. So it could be in the works. That's something that could be being thought of. Interesting. Will there be aggression? Towards other countries, it seems to me like Putin is trying to make himself uh, into some sort of a history uh, figure, historical figure. And then the um, final outcome, the first part of that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of wands. And the seven of wands is really fending off uh, some actions against you. Interesting. I'm not going to uh, try to interpret it just yet. Uh, let's get four more cards. Will Russian aggression extend? to other countries. 
Okay, the very self of that question is the Ace of Swords. Truth, justice, rules, law. Okay, this I like. This says truth, justice, rules, law. That's the self of this question. The environment that that's in is this Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is not wanting something that's being offered to you. Okay, something's uh, of emotional, compassionate uh, consideration isn't wanted in in this fella's life here. So this truth, justice, rules, and law is in the environment of not really appreciating the compassionate situation and something that's being offered to you. And then the uh, hopes and the fears for this with this uh, high priest, this government. Okay, this is telling us hopefully the government will rule the rule of of the of the individual. Uh, sovereignties of the individual countries will rule. And the uh, likely outcome for the whole thing is this Ace of Cups, a big, big, a big, big offer of compassion with wings. So I'll say that, that uh, even if it is considered, I don't think it's going to be successful or very long term. So let's read it again. Will Russian aggression extend to other uh, countries? And we get the Hermit, careful consideration. We get the Four of Wands, short term victories. There could be some negotiation or some um, thought that if we make this move of aggression, speaking of Russia, that we'll have some victories along the way to greatness. <coughs> but the basis of this whole thing is um, four, five, six, the six of cups, uh, remembering how things were in the past. And so I think that's a collective energy for the world, really. In the past of this, and I feel a tickle coming on, I'm going to have to cough a lot. And that could be... Yeah, in the past and something better beginning. In the sky, this short-term plan could be a short-term plan that, that this maniac is thinking about. And then the likely outcome is three, four, five, six, seven of wands is fending off uh, these plans successfully. The hopes and the fears for this, or I'm sorry, the, the, signif the signifier for that question is this ace of swords, truth, justice, rules, law coming through strong. And it's a uh, challenge or in the environment of this uh, not wanting this compassion is being offered. The hopes and the f uh, fears of this is um, this uh, high priest, which is the uh, hierophant, which is the government. That's the uh, hopes is that the government uh, governments of these other countries um, do prevail. And I just have to go with whatever my stream of thought is and trust that that's the message that's supposed to be coming out. And then the final outcome of this whole thing is this ace of cups, this angelic offering of compassion, which says to me that... Um, even if it's being contemplated, even if it starts to be acted on, okay, is that there's been an end to the cycle and the beginning of something better. And this will end uh, in, in, if there is aggression, it will be significant. The compassion will be the winner. As always, the cards just tell you what they tell you, and I hope that I've interpreted them correctly. Tell me if you've got a different take. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so I got these great cards, and if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife, and they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that uh, he felt were appropriate for the for the interpretation. Uh, these cards were created. Uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, Dolly's um, uh, price was, was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Tostin has re- um, uh, printed these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail, I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. 
And once you get inside, you've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the cards. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book, amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you have a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've got everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing um, I'm so glad I got this. It was all well. Now the cards, look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil-looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So, like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in, the, in a reading and, um, and enjoy that. And then like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. And then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the, in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.